What's up everyone, Jeremy here, MTG Headquarters, bringing you part three of the Future Sight box. If you saw the exciting conclusion of part two, you know that Mr. Goyfi showed up. That is nice because this box was approximately $200. So, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, a sweet pull away from, Dare I say it? No, I'm not gonna say it. I can't. It's gonna. I'm gonna jinx myself if I say it. These are the final 12 packs. If you're just finding the channel, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Then you'll know when I upload more vintage or new stuff. Obviously, I, I upload all the new sets. You know, it's been growing like crazy at the time of this video. Um, we're picking up like 2,000 new subscribers a month. I'm so flattered. I'm wor I want to work so much harder for you guys. And uh, M14's right around the corner, and I've already pre-ordered everything we need to check that out. Our first is a Blade of the Sixth Pride. Look how cool that is. You know who I know? Um, one of uh, friends of the channel, Akat Suki Dude? I bet you he'd like this. If you watch this, buddy, and you want it, let me know. I'll mail it to you. I mean, it's only a comment, but I know you collect cats. Angel of Salvation. 8-drop, 5-5 five, five with Flash, uh, and Convoke. When Angel of Salvation comes into play, prevent the next 5 damage that will be dealt this turn to any number of target creatures and or players divided how you choose. Then we have Bound in Silence, Lost Aromancers, and Ravaging Riftworm. Oh, I'm excited. We got a Goyf. I'm not trading this one away. I traded away both Tarmogoyfs I got in Modern Masters. I kind of regret it, although I got good. I needed stuff to complete. I'm still trying to complete my uh, revised duels, my 40. So I got two key parts to that. So it was worth it. A rare. Ooh, it's a Nimbus Maze. These look just so awesome. They're beautiful. Add one colorless, add one white, play this ability only if you control an island, and add one blue, but play that only if you control a plains. That's kind of cool. Yaxla Jailer, Spin into Myth, and Delay. Wow, that's kind of cool. I don't, I don't know if Nimbus Maze is a chase rare, but it, it seems like an efficient card. That's for show. I mean, obviously, 100% of the price is driven by a foil Tamagoyf in this set, but that's all right. We got at least a non-foil one. I feel good about that. Shapeshifters, Marrow, Marrow, Marrow. Look at this. This art. These arts are really tight. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, that player reveals a top card of his or her library. If it's a creature card, that player puts that card into the graveyard, and Shapeshifters, Marrow becomes a copy of that card. That seems all right. Miss Metal Skulk. Char, Char Rumbler and Lanwar, Lanwar Reborn. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I think the next old set I'm gonna open, I may do like New Phyrexia next, just because um, that was sent to me and I should open that. And then I'm gonna maybe do Tempest. I don't know, or Ice Age. You guys vote between Tempest and Ice Age. Pact of Negation, all right, this is a, a solid Card that was reprinted in Modern Masters. Zero drop counter. Target spell. If you don't pay three and two blue next turn, you lose the game. I like that. I like that. Um, I don't know if you'd call it a mechanic, but... Dryad Arbor, Bonded Fetch, and Delay. So it's not really a mechanic, but it's it's a cool, like, like last chance thing. All right. Jihora of the Gitu. This is reprinted in Modern Masters as well at rare. 2-2 two, two for one blue and red and one colorless. Pay two, remove a non-line card in your hand from the game. Put four time counters on that card. If it doesn't have suspend, oh, it gains suspend. Okay, that seems cool. We have a Dryad Arbor, cool art. Chronomantic Escape and a Utopia My. I definitely think Future Sight's pretty awesome. I like it. 
Maybe I'll have to complete the time spiral block. I've been getting a lot of PMs to get time spiral stuff. Oh, baby. That's a nice pull, bridge from below. This looks way awesomer than the Modern Masters one. Whenever a non-token creature is put into the graveyard from play, if bridge from below is in your graveyard, put a 2-2 black zombie creature token. When a creature is put into an opponent's graveyard from play, if bridge from below is in your graveyard, remove it from the game. Then we have Centaur, Omen Reader, Arcblade, and Talaria West. Cool. Bridge from below, Tomagoyf. We got Pact of Negation. We got most of the Chase Rares, I would say. We have a Foil... Uh, uh, Remosian Revelist? A Revivalist. Uncommon. And we have a Coalition Relic. Pretty interesting art here. Uh, tap to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. And tap, put a charge counter on it. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all charge counters from Coalition Relic. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. That's tight, too. That seems like a playable card. Necro Amoeba, Reality Strobe, and even the odds. Maybe it's not. We're down to the final four. Ugh. I don't know um, what I might be looking for, but we have a Tarox Blade Wing. Tarox Blade Wing. Look how cool this looks. All this art is awesome. Two drop, four three, flying haste. As soon as I read that, it's like, there's got to be a drawback. Discard another card named Tarox Blade Wing, and it gets XX till end of turn. Whoa. So, a oh, grandeur. Grandeur. So, two drop. Oh no, I'm not I'm not understanding that right. Two colorless, three red for a four three haster. That makes sense. I think I read Tarmogoy wrong too earlier in the other video. Alright, we've got Centaur Omen Reader, Skizak Surger, and Minions Murmurs. Minions Murmurs. Down to the final four. I hope you guys I do really appreciate all your guys' support and kind words in the comments. I love talking magic with you guys. As you know, I've been uh, streaming quite a bit on twitch.tv backslash MTG headquarters, so you can always hang out with me during the week there, too. Ooh, legendary creature. Corlash, hair, heir to black blade. That looks tight. Um, its power and toughness are equal to the number, number of swamps you control, and it has regenerate. Wow, so it's like a nightmare with regenerate. That's pretty sick. Pretty cichlid to you fish fans out there. Bold Weir Intimidator. Yaxla Jailer. Pooling Venom. Okay. Here we go. Final three packs. Core Lash seems pretty awesome. I don't know. Maybe people don't play them. Ooh, I saw a green rare and I was all excited. Merganda Petroglyphs. Creatures with no abilities get plus two, plus two. Okay. That's kind of cool. It expands the game a little bit, right? Necro Amoeba, Sliversmith, and Lenoir Mentor. I think there's this crazy sliver as a rare in here, too. I wonder if that's a thing now with M14 with slivers coming back, if that'll be a thing. We've got a foil of Vidalkin Aether Mage. For a common, that looks awesome. And our rare is a Pact of the Titan. Another zero drop bonanza. Put a 4-4 four, four, at instant speed. Put a 4-4 four, four red giant creature token into play. At the beginning of your next turn, pay 5 or lose the game. Gold medal lookout. New banalia. Rift sweeper. Last pack. Will we go out with a bang? That's alright. We already got a Tarmogoyf and countless other awesome cards. I appreciate all of you sticking through, enjoying this video, or I hope you enjoyed it. Just remember to subscribe, and, you know, if you see fit, just crush that thumbs up button, turn it green. It means a lot. It helps new people find the video, which I really appreciate. All right, our final rare is green. Oh, Heartwood Storyteller. 2-3 three for 3. Whenever a player plays a non-creature spell of that player's... Each of that opponent, player's opponents may draw a card. 
Then we have Flesh Writher, Cloud Seeder, and Dust of Moments. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had some pretty awesome pulls. Um, you know, if you're new to the channel, you know, make sure you take a second just to subscribe because I do all sorts of older stuff like this. Everything all the way back to revise. I actually have an exciting new box that came in the mail that I want to show you guys when I get back from Denver. Um, it's the oldest set I've ever owned and I'm going to open it on the channel. And um, yeah, so thanks for sticking with me. I look forward to chatting with you in the comment section down below. And we'll talk to you again real soon.